What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and to another player pack squad review. Today we're taking a look at this Club America pack, which a lot of people have been asking me whether it's good or whether it's not good. So it's 900 coins. Obviously, we have all, already covered the AC Milan and Inter Milan packs, and they are available for the same. They are optional. I think the Inter and AC Milan packs have a couple of hidden gems in them, or not so hidden, I suppose, but really nice gems of players, um, including Martinez, Tenali, and uh, Liao there at the, start, at the front of the pack. Um, but this Club America pack obviously falls in if you are a Club America fan or you are you know a fan of South American football, um, it is going to be a nice for you guys if you if you are interested in that. But to me, right, to me, a lot of players in this um, in this pack are kind of you can get better alternatives with GP. But we are going to give a quick review of it because a lot of people have been asking me. There is going to be hidden gems no matter where you look in e football twenty three, and also as well as I always kind of say, you know, if you are a good player at the game, lads you can turn any player into a, into a beast. You know what I mean? You don't need to play with Mbappe, Romario, and Romanegi up front to be good at the game. If you are good at the game, you will be able to actually dominate some, you know, god squads if you are just good at the game. I mean, I look at Weza at the moment who's streaming um, and he does the podcast, obviously co-hosting the podcast with me um, for Pez Universe. And like Weza plays with a one star and a two star team sometimes. And, you know, he is a good player at the game. And I see, you know, players like Laza, um, you know, Sep, like all those type of guys, they play with different strengths of teams um, that you can actually dominate with. And even me, you know, I like, you know, to have Corona on my wing instead of having Salah or Neymar because he's got, you know, a really good player. So if you are, you know, interested in using players, I definitely think discounting players and me saying, yeah, this guy isn't good. His stats aren't good. A lot of the information I'm given is for the, you know, the kind of the, the, the newcomer that there are better options out there. But as I said, there are some very good players in this pack. So let's get into it. So first up, we've got Fuentes. And lads, apologies, I am going to butcher probably all of these names, but this guy playing in the Liga BBVA Mexican League obviously was added with the last eFootball 2.0 update. He's got some nice stats, lads. He's got unwavering form. He's got B rating. He's got 75 acceleration. He's got 72 lofted pass, 73 tackling, 29 levels that he can go up, and he's got a nice player render as well. So again, this is a player that you could actually look at and say, right, I'm going to pick this team and I'm going to absolutely dominate. He's got a lot of nice, um, you know, nice abilities that you could say in his stats. Now, you will need to actually play out wide because this guy is playing 80 team play style proficiency out wide, as are the rest of them. But he is a defensive full back, a very nice player as well. Next up, we have got his center back partner, Valdez, who is 25 levels that you can train up. Not the slowest, not the fastest, um, but he is kind of somewhere in between that when you do train him up with level 25 or you get him up to a max level 25, and we'll have a look over on eFootballDB in a couple of seconds just to have a, a look at maybe one or two of these players to what they can actually train up into. Valdez is a player that we definitely would keep an eye on because he doesn't have the, a, a massive amount of player skills and he does have standard form, but that B rating is going to come to fruition if you are picking this squad for now you know what i mean because the b rating obviously does help and it gives a boost to their stats and obviously if you've got a hundred play style as well you're going to be able to dominate some games where somebody is going to be playing with 85 play style if they've got a you know bag full of legends and they haven't really uh concentrated on their play style proficiency so that is something to keep in mind as well but again there's just so many center backs in the game for cheap for under fifty thousand gp that just blow this guy's stats away but that's not to say that he couldn't be an absolute beast for you because he could play above his stats. Jonathan DeSantis, obviously people will remember him. He's got a, a big name uh, from the past. And I think he's Giovanni DeSantis's brother. Obviously, remember Giovanni DeSantis. He was Barca's next big thing. I think he played for Spurs as well. But this guy, Jonathan DeSantis, never really hit the heights of them. But I think he does play for the Mexican national squad. Um, my knowledge of Mexican football isn't the best. But it is improving, seeing as I love Corona now. And I actually am going to be getting a Mexican jersey with Corona's name on the back foot, hopefully. But 80 out wide. Um... Really, really nice player as well. He's got a lot of player skills. Now, this is what I'm talking about when you talk about hidden gems. He's going to be somebody that we look at over on eFootballDB in a second because he's got standard form and B rating, but look at all the player skills he has. Double touch, way to pass, gamesmanship, one touch pass, long range, curler and shooter, true passing, way to pass, pinpoint crossing, 
that's a lot of stats and a lot of player skills to have. And I think the thing about it is, if you are looking to get a player that is not the norm, you know what I mean? Like everybody has Mbappe, everybody has Open Meccano at the back, everybody has, you know, Neuer in goals or Donnarumma in goals or one of the big boys, you know, um, Messi, Ronaldo, whatever. I think these guys do offer a different advantage. And when they do bring in the match filters that you're able to play three and four star, this guy would be an exceptional three star player because of the amount of player skills he has. And if you level him up, we'll take a look at that in a bit as well. So we are going to go through Roger Martinez, who's a center forward dummy runner. Strange enough to see dummy runner. Actually, there's not that many of them. Again, he's got unwavering for our standard form, but he's got super sub, which is quite decent as well. So again, you can bring him up to like a 90 overall as a super sub and have that speed and acceleration and finishing. He's got some very nice basic stats. We will take a look at him in more detail as well. Now we've got this guy. So I've played actually a couple of the challenges with Club America in the Liga MX uh, PvP challenge where you're picking one of the Liga MX teams and you're actually playing to get points and stuff and, and amass them. And this guy is an absolute monster, lads. He's got unbelievable defensive awareness. This guy is going to be taking a look at as well. I think his, he could be the hidden gem of the actual whole pack. And I'm going to show you why in a couple of minutes over on eFootball DB. Next up, we have got Valdez. Again, Valdez has got A form. He's an AMF. A very good player he's got a lot of player skills inconsistent form does rule him out though i think for like having him in your proper main squad i think he's just going to be down more often than not um you know obviously maybe he's going through a bit of a breakup with the girlfriend or something i don't know but a rating is obviously going to you know like cover paper over those cracks for a bit but yeah that inconsistent form lad similar to lukaku in the inter milan pack it's just killer it actually is a killer next up we have got martin He's on A form as well. Now, this guy's got standard form, so it's a little bit better. And as a Fox in the box CF, he's got some very nice stats. Acceleration and finishing is all you really need for a Fox in the box. But this guy's got 35 levels as well, which is incredible. And we'll get into that in a little bit on eFootball DB. And next up, we've got Sanchez, who again is a really really good CMF A form. As you can see there, he's got 80 out wide, standard form as well. But he's got double touch, true passing, long range shooting, cut behind and turn and pinpoint crossing. So a very nice mix of skills. He can actually play on the right side of the pitch as well. And yeah, he looks like a decent player, man. He looks a bit angry there, but he looks like a very decent player. Uh, smaller base player, but he's got 36 levels, which, yeah, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. On the surface, right? You've got a guy that's 79 overall and you're thinking, yeah, you know, I definitely prefer Marcus Llorente or Goretzka or Kimmich or Kante or Modric or whoever. But when you actually take into consideration that this guy's got 36 levels to go and he's got 77 low pass, 73 acceleration and 70 or uh, 66 defensive awareness, which you can actually upgrade his ball control and his passing doesn't really need to be touched. This guy could be a bit of a monster. And then we have Akia or Ashia. Akio, Ashio, I don't know, that's a disaster. This guy, again, is going to be a bit of a hidden gem if you get him. I remember him in one of the World Cups. He was unbelievable. And you look at his reflexes here. You put six points into his reflexes and you're going to have a 90 overall reflexes, which is the, the key stat, I think, especially now in eFootball 2023. Because listen, if you have Oliver Kahn and Neuer and Donnarumma all in goals, the three of them will still let in goals because there will be mistakes made. But this guy is an absolute beast. He's got standard form, penalty saver, long throw, low punt, captaincy, and he's got pretty much everything that you could need. We're going to be having a look at him as well in a second. So we're going to head over to eFootballDB.com, lads, and I'll be back in a sec. All right, so we're over on eFootballDB, and we're going to be taking a look at these players fully maxed out. And as you can see here, we have got Okia who's going to be going up. And all we're going to be doing here is really improving his goalkeeper stats here. Giving an 8 and 8 and 8. We don't need to touch. The, his possession game is obviously high enough. So we don't really need to touch that. We're just going to upgrade that as much as we can. And then obviously just throw that in there wherever it doesn't make a difference. But this guy has got incredible stats, lads. 82, 81, 83, and then 95 reflexes. That's where I'd put it because he is a smaller base goalkeeper. He's either going to parry things away or reflex save it. Um, he's not going to be, you know, catching things out of the air. So yeah, absolutely incredible 91 overall goalkeeper. I think he is a bit of a hidden gem in the game, definitely. Next up, we have got Sanchez, who is fully maxed out here, goes to 36 levels. And as you can see, lads, 83 speed, 84 acceleration, which is quite decent, you would, you would probably admit. 
36 levels is obviously going to give you a lot of uh, variety that you can do it. Now, we could take away some of this speed if we wanted to, you know, because we probably don't need that much speed. We'd have 12 points left to go and we could actually improve his passing a little bit or his dribbling a little bit. If we wanted to have him more as a kind of an all-rounder CMF, that's kind of how I would be playing him. And then obviously you could have a couple on his defensive side of game as well. He's still a 91 overall player, but you can see there that he's got some incredible stats as a CMF, just bringing the ball forward and being able to actually do everything linked to play from defense to attack. This guy, Aquino, is an absolute beast of a player, lads. He is one of my favorite players, I think. I have got his standard card, which you can see here is an 83 overall, but he's not going to be able to compare with this guy because this card is way better in every way, including the pace. You know, that three, that 80 pace there is a big one. And then obviously he's got four or five on that. And he's just able to link everything. He's got 30 levels. But look at his defensive awareness stats, lads. Look at his stats there. He is just going to be a monster. I think he could be this game's Barrios. He would be my hidden gem for this game's Barrios, uh, such as he was for Pez 2020. Jonathan DeSantos is our next up guy. He is going to be a good player as well for you. Again, you've got 90 low pass. You've got 80 acceleration. A lot of people ask me about acceleration and do you actually really need it? I genuinely don't think that you do. It depends on your play style. You know what I mean? Once you're like probably like four or five, if you leave a gap of four or five um, difference between the speed and acceleration, it kind of gives you a little bit of a boost. Uh, you know, once like if obviously if you've got 90 speed, 90 acceleration, you don't really need to do that. But if you leave a gap there and you want to just throw it into passing or whatever, I usually just try and like kind of complement what the players have. You know what I mean? You don't really need to... Um, you don't really need to turn a player into a defensive player if he's an attacking player and vice versa. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just going to take too much of your progression points. Just kind of coax along what you can actually get out of the players and, um, you know, boost up as best as you possibly can. DeSantis is a ball playing center midfielder. He's not going to be a defensive guy getting in tackles. And last but not least, we have Rodriguez up, who, again, looks like a very, very decent player. Um, kind of looks like your throw, throw or your regular kind of like uh, center forward that is going to have speed. He's going to have finishing. He's going to be good in the air. He's going to be balanced. Um, he's got a really nice player card. Obviously, the two standard form is going to be a bit of a concern. But yeah, that is it for me. I mean, it's up to you guys whether uh, I would recommend this or not. It's completely up to you and how you play. And it's, again, up completely up to you whether you actually buy these packs um it's 900 coins i think the same as inter and ac again they are optional um let me know if you guys are going to buy them but i do think again any pack that you buy lads there's going to be one or two players that are beasts like it's just the way it is and a lot of the people that buy these obviously they want just a ready-made kind of like you know squad that they can actually train up and have a bit of crack with but again there is so many players available for gp that you should definitely check that out as well. And it's very easy, as I said here on eFootballDB. You click on this players, you go to search filters, you can put in your price, you can put in anything you want, min, max level, you can put in position, you can choose, you know, ability. So say if you wanted somebody that is like, right, I want somebody with 70 dribbling, I want somebody with 70 speed. It's very, very easy and it updates in real time. You want 70 acceleration. And you want him to be, say, like, I don't know, let me see, under 200,000, right? Or under 100,000, right? You're going to get all your list there and you come up and you say, right, okay, let's have a look through these. Then you can refine it a little bit more by saying, okay, position settings, whichever position that you want. And then, you know, skill settings, whatever skills that you want. Obviously, if you want a super sub or whatever. And the ability settings, you could also go, you know, that he wants to be, you know, tree form. So if you want to just have... Uh, unwavering players they're they're all there you can go through them and they're basically uh, sorted by price and and player value so you know Sergio Gonzalez might be a beast if you're looking for that so that is it let's make sure and subscribe if you want more of these make sure and check out eFootballDB.com link in the description below and any feedback for it I will pass on to the team but other than that lads I will talk to you later hope you enjoyed the video peace